The videos show the 18-year-old behind the wheel of a reported stolen car careening toward police officers who then fire at the car several times. O'Neill then gets out of the car and tries to run before he's shot in the back. He was unarmed. Today, the Chicago police superintendent called the release of the videos the beginning of a transparent process. But as KPIX 5's Maria Medina shows us, here in California, it's a lot less likely that that kind of body cam footage would ever go public. Eight days after Chicago police shot and killed Paul O'Neill. Police released the video from the officer's body and dash cameras that captured the deadly confrontation to the public. In Chicago, they have a body-worn camera policy that says that the video had to be released, the footage had to be released within 60 days. KPIX 5 legal analyst and Judge Ladoris Cordell says that would never happen in California. In the Bay Area and in California in general, body-worn camera footage is not available to the public at all unless the chief decides in his or her discretion to release it. Although more police and sheriff's departments are using body cameras in our state, it's not often the public gets a chance to see the footage. The San Jose and Oakland Police Department policies say if the public wants to see footage, they must request it. But according to the San Jose Police website, the request is not a promise you'll get it. The policy says the video is likely part of an investigation which affects whether it'll be released. So if you don't have a good policy that stands for transparency and getting footage out to the public in a timely fashion, then your body-worn cameras are not going to get you where you need to be, which is forward with accountability so you build trust with community. In San Francisco, Maria Medina, KPIX 5. Judge Cordell adds California police departments include body camera footage in officer personnel files which are confidential and cannot be viewed by the public.